insolent fool. How long will you go about your inferior and outdated ways of changing 9-volt batteries every six months at the peril of your own band practice? I will show you a better way. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Daniel with Mad Love Concepts, and today I'm going to show you how I equipped my Iceman ICT700 with a rechargeable 9-volt battery uh, supply. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the back of my guitar, where you can easily see that it is equipped with a micro USB charging port for the 9-volt battery and I do not have a uh, battery cavity carved into the body of the Iceman. This is simply because prior to equipping it with the Fishman Moderns pickups, I was formerly using the DiMarzio Super Distortions. Now, I went ahead and decided to give the Fishman Fluence pickups a try, and while I was uh, going across their website, I saw that they had a rechargeable battery system and that appealed to me but what did not appeal to me was the price for about forty dollars i was able to do it myself uh, diy and i'm going to show you that process now before we go ahead and dive into me uh, routing out the uh, pocket for my uh, diy system i need to tell you that you have to have at least uh, 34 to 35 millimeters depth of a control cavity in your guitar. So what you need to do is you need to take a ruler, you need to open up the back cavity of your guitar and stick the ruler in and see if you have at least 34 to 35 millimeters of height. So if you have that then we're good to go. You can continue on with this video. First off we have the panel mount micro USB female to micro USB male which I will be securing to the control cavity plate. Second off we have a rechargeable 9 volt battery and third off we have the uh, 7 8 Freud Forstner bit which I'm going to use to drill the hole into the cavity plate. I do have a electric screwdriver which makes things easier for me uh, but you can get things done with whatever you have. So let's go ahead and turn the guitar around and see what it looks like in there. Alrighty, and as you can see, I have my 9-volt battery electrically taped up uh, with some blue electrical tape, and I just shoved it into the back of the control cavity. And our next setup with the rechargeable system is going to be similar to this, except I am going to take the Panamount USB, and I'm going to shove it in the back of the control cavity uh, right around there and um, we're going to wrap around the cable like this and meet it up and tape it up so it's nice and secure so let me go ahead and measure out where I'm going to need to drill the control cavity plate and then we'll go ahead and make that installation Fortunately, your hole does not have to be perfect, as the panel mount micro USB will be a little forgiving on the uh, rough edges I drilled here. Alrighty, so here we have our concept where I have my micro USB. Straighten that out a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and see if it charges the battery. And as you can see, the light does come on on the 9-volt batteries, so we're good to go. Now I'm going to wrap up the battery in electrical tape, and we're going to plug this in. It will be a tight fit, but that's okay, because that will help keep the 9-volt battery in place 
so it doesn't uh, jiggle around in the control cavity. So let's go ahead and do this. And that's pretty much it guys. If you need to charge your rechargeable 9 volt battery, all you need from now on is a micro USB cable. And it would be additionally uh, advantageous of you to go ahead and purchase one of those um, handheld power supplies. Uh, keep it in your gig bag in case you need to recharge on the go while you are on your musical adventures. If you like this video and it gave you some ideas to add some bells and whistles to your guitar go ahead and hit that like button if you want to see more content like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button well i've enjoyed our time together and i know it's time for you to go but i believe that you will do wonderfully and i will see you on the horizon